Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna be making some delicious ribs on the Pit Boss. As you can see, we got a beautiful baby back rib. This is the star of the show today. Now the first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be coming on this side and we're gonna be moving this membrane. It's really simple to do. You can ask your butcher to do it if they offer that service for you guys. Uh, most butchers will. So all you gotta do is take a spoon, follow one of these middle bones and just push on through. And then as you get far enough, lift up. If you're lucky, you can be able to get this all in one shot. Now, sometimes when it's over butchered, you got cuts right here and that makes it a pain in the ass. But today it looks like we're good. So we're gonna go ahead and take all of it off. Just like that. Okay, so what we're using today, and I've showed you guys many times in a few other videos, uh, we're gonna be using my adobo seasoning. You can't buy this, you have to make it. I have a short video that shows you how to make this delicious all-purpose seasoning. And this actually goes great on pork and chicken. So before we do anything to our pork, what we're gonna do is squeeze a little bit of lime, lemon juice on there. You can use lime also. It's kind of get those essence of the lemon oils all over the meat. All right, so we're gonna start off on the back side. Just give a nice seasoning over our double seasoning. You don't have to go too crazy on this side. This isn't the side that you focus on. I focus more on the top of the rib, but since we got that membrane off, we'll actually get some seasoning on that back side because there is some meat right there. Focus on the other side. We're gonna go ahead and give it a flip. Same thing with our lemon. Put a little juice of lemon there. I'm gonna rub it in. Now this technique I got from actually my grandpa. This is what he would do when he would do like carnitas. Now the meaning behind that is supposedly to clean or sanitize your pork, which I don't see the point of that because we're actually gonna be cooking this at you know pretty high temperatures, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that actually doing anything other than just maybe adding some zestiness. So we'll just go ahead and give a nice seasoning on this side. Pack that down. So I'll generally let this sit in the seasoning for about 30 minutes or so. Just kind of let that seasoning adhere to the, the meat and then also it'll make it sweat. So. I'll see you guys outside in about 30 minutes. Go ahead and turn on our pit boss and we're gonna set it to 250 degrees. All right, as you can see, if this is the first time you ever seeing a pit boss Austin XL or any pellet grill, when you start it up, you wanna make sure that you leave it the lid open. That way you can get all this bad smoke that it starts putting out. But as you can hear it, it actually caught flame already. So it's gonna clear all this stuff out. Now for the pellets that we're using today, half mesquite and half the fruit blend from pit boss. So we're gonna close it up, let it come to temp, and we'll bring our ribs out. All right, so our smoker is up to temp. As you can see, we got some sweating on our ribs. We're gonna go ahead and place them on this side right here. This side tends to be the, the coolest side of the smoker. If I'm trying to make something a little bit faster, I usually put it on this end. I don't really use the middle because everything that I put in the middle usually gets charred, especially if you're doing a long cook. So I usually utilize only this portion of the smoker or that portion of the smoker. And squeeze these in a little bit. All right, we're gonna close it up. I'm gonna let it go for about two hours straight and then we'll check on the bark. Okay, so it's been over two hours. We're gonna be checking the bark. Bark is nice and set. I'm actually gonna rotate these. I'm gonna go ahead and spray just a little bit with just some water. That's all we're using is just water. All right, they're looking good. We're gonna go ahead and close them up. We're gonna let them go for about another hour. All right, so our third hour is up. All right, so I'm gonna check for doneness. And what I mean by that is, is the band. Now see, these got a long ways to go, but we're gonna be wrapping. So that's gonna help us out with that. All we really gotta break down is just the meat. 
I'm not gonna be breaking them down to where they're like super tender. I'm gonna just break them down to where they're nice, nice and soft to the bite, where you can bite to the bone, but uh, not to the point where you're gonna get pulled pork. So I'm gonna take these off and I'm gonna get them wrapped up. All right, so let's get these back on the grill. We got them already wrapped up. Now, I'm only gonna let this go for about 30 to 45 minutes. I'm actually gonna check on them in about 30 minutes. All I'm looking for is tenderness. There's nothing but meat. We don't have no cartilage on these, so as soon as it gets to a nice tenderness where we can bite to the bone, we're good to go. So I'll check back then. All right, so it's been 45 minutes. Now, what we're checking for is tenderness. I could already tell that these ribs are done. So let's go ahead and take these out. And you're really looking at like the flexibility of how the ribs are. If they had like any type of resistance, then you know, you still need a little bit more time, but these are good. This one is even more tender. Yeah. Okay, so let's get these out of the foil. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put these back on there. All right, so now what we're going to be doing with these ribs is we're going to be adding a basting of some salsa verde. I have a short of this recipe right here. I also have a full video, which I'll leave all that information at the end of the video. This is just a simple salsa, nice and flavorful. Tartiness is going to bring these ribs to a nice, just delicious state. So we're going to go ahead and pour a little bit right there. Baste it a little bit. that deliciousness all over the place. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on the back side. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the top part. Let's get them by the bones, just like that. Turn them over. Now, same thing on this side. Add some of that salsa right there, right on top. All right, I think that's looking good. We got a nice basing of the salsa all over the place. Now, all I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna just close this up, let it go for about 10 minutes, let this salsa just cake on it. And after that, we're pretty much done. I'll see you guys inside when it's all ready to go. Okay, so we have our ribs all done. I'll go ahead and put these upside down so that we can see where the bones are. Go ahead and cut right here in the middle. cut right here smoke ring nice and tender juicy and we got a beautiful just exterior with that smoke seasoning and salsa this is gonna be some delicious stuff right here look at that rack that is a beautiful looking rack of ribs we are hungry and it's time to eat cheers y'all mmm Bite to bone. That is how you're supposed to cook ribs. I mean, that's just a perfect bite right there. That's how you should be making ribs every single time. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. That way you see future videos just like this. Look, that salsa recipe is fire. You guys really got to try this out. I have a short, which I actually did one recipe with some other chilies. I don't remember what I did with the first one, but I'll leave both right here. That way you can check them out. Really good recipes. You should give them a try. Now y'all be beautiful, take care.